I don't want to be awake right now. Well, I guess I have to be. Well, good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and hi if you're new around here. I am getting ready. It is an early start to the day. It is now 4.15 a.m. Don't worry, I wouldn't choose to be awake at this time, unless it's for my job. Thought I'd do a little day in the life today. Can't say I've got much going on, apart from life, updates. So I thought I'd take you with me. First of all, we need to get ready for work. You look like you're a bit of a skew. Sorry about that, but I can't really touch you now because I've got, what's it called on my hands? Anyway, how have you been? Let me know. Anything interesting happened over the weekend? Today's Monday, by the way, if you're interested. I don't think you are, but that's why I'm asking about the weekend because it's actually Monday morning right now. What was the last life update I gave you? Oh yeah, my water heater's broke. Guess what? Still broken. It got worse and it's not better yet. So I got back from my flight on Saturday. I want to say it was fine I got home there was no like major problems going on it was okay and then I went to sleep when I got home because it was obviously a night flight oh yeah sorry about not finishing the vlog when I said I was gonna finish the vlog at home I uh, you will understand why in a minute <laughs> just didn't want to basically so I went to sleep and then I woke up to the noise of water again Honestly, PTSD is a real thing, and I have it from water leaks. So I woke up and the kitchen was swimming again, so I had to call maintenance, the building maintenance. Uh, they came and I had a look and they just said the tank was building up. I was like, yeah, but I had the tap running the whole time. I literally turned the tap up, up, off for about five seconds so that I could wash a dish. That makes no sense. I turned the tap to the cold so that I could wash a dish. Um, so the hot wasn't obviously running through. And that just made it leak again. Basically, moral of that story is, I, I've had to turn the water off in the apartment, apart from in the bathroom. And yeah, there's a lot more complications to that than you'd think. I.e., I don't have a washing machine. So that's something we need to figure out today. There is also some good news may be happening today. When I get back from my flight, I actually haven't told you where I'm going, I'm going on turnaround. But when I get back from my flight, there should be the outsourced maintenance people coming to check the water heater to find out which one it is. So hopefully we can get it replaced. It won't be getting replaced today, but it's a step in the right direction. But before that, that's at like three o'clock, hopefully, if they come when they're supposed to. But before that, we have to go to work. Yay! Uh, where am I going actually? Let me bring it up so I can talk. talk. La, 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 la. Today we are going to Kuwait. In Kuwait. <laughs> um, it's a lovely early start to the day and the flight is no more than an hour and a half each way. Do you know what's actually really surprising actually? The flight going to Kuwait is a very light load. Like insanely light apart from first class the way back to Dubai is not as light but there's it's not full apart from first class <laughs> like where is this first class lifestyle that I so desperately have and I'm entitled to but yeah I did this flight not too long ago um I've got a hair on my face and I don't know where it is I can feel it I did this flight not too long ago and it was actually okay. It's really short, so there's not really much that can happen. And I think from what I've worked out, it's on the new aircrafts. That makes no sense to you if you don't know. But there's some aircrafts that we have that are brand new and they've got the, the first class game changer suites. If I can take a picture or find a picture from online, I'll put it in now. And if it is, I'm so excited because this is my first time working on this aircraft. And it's different because there's, they're, ju they're just different. <laughs> so 
So hopefully it is. I'm quite excited about that to actually see it and actually work on it for a change because it is an exciting time. Even though it is only an hour and a half flight, it will be an exciting experience. This is not a dedicated work vlog, but I'm just going to answer this question because I get it a lot when I do turnarounds. Is do we get off the aircraft or can you go into the airport? No, we cannot because there is no time. <laughs> Basically by the time the passengers get off the cleaners are waiting at the door ready to go on to Clean the apartment the apartment eh? clean the plane and then Passengers are already waiting to get on at the gate at the airport So we don't really have time you just about have time to pee if I'm being honest <laughs> It makes it go so much faster because there's no waiting around you just get there get them off, get the cleaners on, get them off, get the passengers on, take off. And then you're done, you're coming home, it's great. I do get asked that quite a lot and no, we cannot. There is one time on a flight that we do that you might be able to and that is the, uh, the turnaround you do between Bangkok and Hong Kong. There is time, I think, there to get off. But yeah, I just wanted to add that in. It, this is not a work vlog, this is a day in the life, but if you're watching then you're entitled to the little snippets of my job. <laughs> I'm actually quite awake considering I didn't really sleep that well. I say I didn't sleep that well. I slept like three hours. I got into bed at like 8, 8 a.m. Oh my god, you, no, I'm tired. <laughs> 8 p.m. And I just didn't go to sleep till about 1, which was fantastic if you ask me. Passing and turning, couldn't really get comfortable, and then I overheated, and then I was cold, and I was like, oh, just go to sleep. The plan for today was to not crash i.e. that, hmm, not the best choice of words there, Sophie. Not to pass out, should I say, when I get back. But we're just going to see how the little all day goes. I do have some time off. Time? My word choice today is just not on point. I do have some days off after this flight, so if God thinks that I need to sleep and my body wants to sleep, then I'm going to sleep and we'll figure it out tomorrow. But ideally, I don't want to go to sleep and we'll just figure out the rest of the day as it comes and you're going to come with me. Right, I feel like I've rambled way too long. So I am going to finish my makeup. I'm going to head to work. Been thinking of who I am and now you know if I'm not a man, cause I've been caught in between the masculine, the feminine, what does it even mean? Thinking that I am wrong, feel that I don't fit in, words are not big enough to explain who I am. Why make it so hard? Why I'm falling through? Cause that shit ain't true. I'm home! Wow, that was a day and a half and it was easy. <laughs> Can't even lie to you and say that it was hard. The hardest part was just the timing. It was actually such a nice flight. So no complaints from me. But I wanted to show you this. I got a little mini Nutella. It's from a passenger. It was her 398th Emirates flight. So she wrote us all a little note and then gave us a little Nutella. So I'm gonna cheat my date. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna cheat my diet and have this for my dessert because right now I have my food. And you know what's quite funny actually? I made this food. Well, yeah, I made a meal prep the other day. I took it with me on the flight. It's been all the way to Kuwait and back. And I decided that there was no time on the flight to eat it. The flight was literally an hour and 15 or an hour and 20. So there was literally no time to eat the food anyway. Don't know where I thought I was gonna get the time from. So, it's been around the world, well, Kuwait and back. Now I'm sat here in my living room, about to watch some YouTube and eat my food. Oh, hot. Like I've 
not moved and I can't say I have really moved, but I've got an update for you. Maintenance have just been, like the contractor maintenance, not the builder maintenance. So they've just been in the roof. They didn't really tell me much, <laughs> but they said whatever they figured out, they'll let the people know and then they'll let the agency know and they'll let my agent know and they'll let me know. I wonder how long this is going to take <laughs> because I don't know if you're aware but Eid holiday either starts tonight or tomorrow I think. Well end of Ramadan is either today or tomorrow depending on the moon. So Eid is going to start and that's a nine day holiday here for the private sector I'm not sure and most of the contractors in terms of like what I need are currently going to be on that holiday. So, I don't know when it's going to get fixed, but I feel like we're making progress. And then, the other problem is, if you see my Instagram story, you know that because of all this water heater drama, they've had to turn the water off in the apartment, not the bathroom. I still have water in the bathroom, so I have like a shower, a toilet, a bath, a sink in there. That's fine, that's separate. But... This water heater goes to the kitchen and to the washing machine. Which is currently not working because they've had to turn it off. So, I'm going to sit here for a little bit. Possibly maybe have like an hour nap because I'm a little bit tired. And then I need to get my 1920s woman on and uh, go and wash some washing by hand because I'm running out of clothes and I need my uniform. We'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm just going to sit here. I'm still watching the Sidemen video. So I'm going to watch the rest of this and just relax because I'm tired. If you can't tell, I'm tired. I did also leave my makeup on. I took my lipstick off, but I left my makeup on so I feel a little bit more like done up instead of coming home and just being a scruff. So anyway, I'm gonna catch this in a bit when I figure out life and I'm gonna maybe have a sleep for an hour. <laughs> How can an hour sleep turn into four and a half hours? Honestly, I was so confused. <laughs> so I fell asleep obviously at three o'clock or whatever time it was and it was daylight outside. So I didn't have any lamps or anything on. So when I woke up at, was it like seven o'clock? And it was pitch black in here, like it was actually quite scary how dark it was in here. I was so confused, like I full on thought it was like midnight. But it wasn't, it was like 7 o'clock and I just fell asleep for longer than I planned. Anyway, I am going to go and wash some clothes because I've been putting it off for a while. Because I've been putting it off for a while. But before that, I thought I'd show you the new book that I'm going to read. It's called Serpent and the Dove. My sister's reading it at the minute. And... My Libby account has just told me that I have the audiobook ready. So I've just borrowed it from the library for 21 days. So I now have the audiobook and the book because my new favourite thing in the world is to have both. Because I tried to read the book. If you were around here, book chat for a minute. If you're around here for the last video, you know I got a book that I was very interested in reading. I've read the book, I read Bride. Um, I read about 50% of it from the book itself, right? I tried and tried and tried. I am not a book girl, okay? Come at me, I don't care, right? One, I read very slow in a book, right? So it took me like four days to get to this point about halfway through. I finished the rest of the 50% of that book in a day on my Kindle. I ended up buying the book on the Kindle. And also, right? My favourite pastime, to pass the time while I'm on the treadmill doing my cardio on my steps in the gym, is to read my book because I just get lost in the world and lost in time. So I can't obviously like take my book to the gym, but I take either my Kindle or I just read the Kindle app on my phone. Or I can listen to it because I've got the audio book. I don't buy the audio books, by the way. I use the Libby app which is like a library app. So in my hometown, there's a library, which they're on this app and they're all audiobooks. And then I also got a library card for the New York Public Library, which has some insane wait times, but that also has audiobooks and 
uh, digital books, so either or. But yeah, little side note, so I'm going to go put my headphones on, start listening to this, and go do some washing. I think I'm just going to do like the basics, um, see how far I get, but after no update, and still no update from anyone <laughs> remotely about my water heater, I think it's time to go and do some washing. I'm never going to take for granted a washing machine ever again. And I can't really show you me doing it because it's kind of inappropriate because it's kind of like underwear and just like stuff that I don't really want on the internet. So you're just going to have to trust me and I'll show you the maiden later. <laughs> bed. I've given up on my day. I've fully given up. I've actually been a little bit productive so after I did some washing <laughs> I did like two loads and then I put it on the maiden and it was dripping wet like there's towels on the floor catching the water like I couldn't get the water out of this for the life of me but now it's stopped dripping so now it's in like my portable air dryer. Air dryer not hair dryer. Um, so that's what the noise is if you can hear that. I am getting into bed. I've just started reading the book uh, Serpent and Dove. I'm on the second chapter. I will keep you posted how it goes. In terms of book chat, I don't know if you're interested, but I read the Bride book. I don't know if I told you this before. I gave it a three out of five stars. My Goodread is in the description and the bookstagram if you're interested. That is all book stuff. Now we just... We just dabble in it in the vlogs, okay? Anyway, I am going to head to bed because I am tired. It is nearly midnight and I actually want to get up semi-early tomorrow so that I can actually enjoy my day. Just a casual go to the gym and maybe meeting up with a friend. So yeah, maybe getting a new water heater. Who knows what my day is planned. Hopefully getting a new water heater. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've still not had an update. I didn't think I would, but... Still no updates since before. I'll keep you posted. Check out the Instagram because you'll see all the updates on there as they happen instead of waiting for the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. Do give it a like and a subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!